Hello everyone. Uh, today I'll be discussing about the measures of central tendency and the most common measures of central tendency are mean, mode and median. Basically mean is the average, median is the middle value and uh, mode is the most often the number which has the most fre the most frequency mo which is most frequent. And uh, I'll be using uh, a simple vector and uh, empty cast data set and the air quality data set to give an example about these three the mean mode and the median now let's start with uh, having a vector it's, it has some data in it so it has fetched the data now l let's have a little bit of exploratory data analysis like uh, the graph how it looks with the histogram so you can have a look at the uh, at the graph the there are four numbers around between 0 and 2 there is nothing between 2 and 6 and there are around three numbers between 6 and 8 and again three numbers between 8 and 10 let's plot a box plot for it okay now you can see the median is approximately 7 more than 7 between, between 7 and 8 now coming on to the mean what is mean? The mean is the average of the numbers. Basically, the sum of the numbers in this vector divided by the length of the vector, which is th which is 10, I think, yeah. So, let's have a look. So, the mean is coming approximately. For, uh, it is coming 5.8. Now, there is a built-in function in R, which is mean. If you want, you can look at the help. Uh, so, it will directly calculate the mean of the vector so it is 5.8 now moving on to the median the median is the middle number of the given numbers uh, when they are set in order so basically if I just see X so this is the X if I sort it so this is from lowest till highest now you can see since there are 10 numbers so the first five and the last five so the median should lie uh, in between seven and eight so basically it should be 7.8 so let's see whether this function which is inbuilt in R gives the same result yes so it is 7.5 now coming on to the mode uh, what is mode now mode uh, mode is the number which appears most often in a set of numbers now this is weird but R doesn't have an inbuilt function for calculating mode by itself. Like I searched, I couldn't find. If you if you can find, just let me know. But there is no such function I could find. So we have the same the same number x, the same vector. So I wrote a simple uh, code of line, like simple code to find the mode. Let's see x again. This is our x. Uh, I'm using the table function to calculate the frequency of these numbers so, and, and and I'm storing it in Y so let's see why so it gives us this table now you can see now what it shows is the number one is appearing one time the number two is appearing three times as you can see it here the number two is three times and then seven is one time eight is coming two times again nine nine is two times and then one so we can use this table to write a code which can fetch us the numbers number or numbers uh, which are appearing most frequently like maximum number of times so there is this line of code you can have a look and see how it is working but it, it will give us the result now you can see that 2 is appearing 3 times so the mode should be 3 so if I run this command this line so it's giving giving us two now I computed it in three lines we can do it in, in a single line also this is this is the code for that so again it is giving me two okay now uh, as we saw that well, mode is the number which is appearing maximum number of times in a distribution now suppose we have two numbers which are appearing which are appearing like uh, maximum number of times so what I do what I did is like, like to check whether this function is working correctly I added an 8 to our already existing vector so let let's see X and if I sort X I'm just sorting it so that it's <coughs> it's clear visibly <coughs> 
see 2 is appearing 2 3 times and 8 is appearing also appearing in 3 times so basically our function should return 2 and 8 as the mode so let's see how it, the result what it gives see okay it's working fine so uh, this distribution has two modes <coughs> now coming on to uh, one inbuilt uh, data set uh, which is already existing in R that is the empty cars data set uh, we'll be doing the same operations using this data set and we'll be doing the operation on the weight column so let's have a look at the empty cars data set so these are the top six lines and we'll be doing we'll be using the weight so I'm I am uh, putting these values of weight in our vector X so that I can use the already existing code okay so now let's see what the mean it gives it's 3.21 something and the median 3.25 okay, you can verify it and uh, you can just uh, do it a manual operation on its sum and length of that it will give the same result now again uh, we're doing the mode you can do it using these three lines now you can see it here this is the distribution this is a table now all of them are one but this number 3.44 is coming three times that means this should be our mode so let's see if it gives three uh, the answer should be 3.44 okay yes it's giving 3.44 again uh, you can do it in a single line 3.44 okay now there is one catch in this uh, if we don't have a missing value in our data set these these functions mean and median will work fine but if there is a missing value then let's see what happens so I'm using the reason I'm using air quality data set is because it has some missing value values in some of the columns so let's have a look at the dimension like summary statistics let's have a look at the dimension of the air quality data set okay I'll just clear this and do it again dimension so it's 153 rows and six columns let's see what are or what all are the column names ozone solar R, wind temp month and day okay let's do the str on this internal structure there is one number delete okay and then head okay these are the first uh, six rows uh, six rows now you can see in ozone has na and solar has has an na but we are not sure whether there is na on the on maybe there can be an na on uh, in the other columns because this is only the first six rows now how would you find the like first which column has an has a missing value now there is a very nice line of code i found somewhere uh, if you you can use this on any data set you can use it in empty cars uh, empty cars didn't have any missing data so it will not fetch uh, anything but if you have a data set which have which uh, you want to check whether it has a missing value or not you can use this line of code now let, let's run this and see okay see this is giving the result ozone and solar dot r this means that ozone it's visible here also uh, but this is a better way to check uh, so ozone and solar R has missing values in it so let's check uh, what the data is there in these two columns so as you can see there are some missing values here and this is for the solar cell see you can see there are some missing values here so I'll be using I'm, I'm using this solar dot R as of now you can very well use the ozone uh, column also so let's put this value in the vector x we'll create a vector with these values let's see uh, let's see uh, how many NAs it has uh, th there is this one more table function is one of the best functions I have used like best in the sense uh, it gives a very good uh, overview of the data uh, here I am using table with is NA function so this means uh, that there are seven NA, val in NA values in the solar.r uh, column basically this is solar dot r so now let's do mean on this now it has any values see it's not giving us a proper result it is giving na since it's a set of numbers so it should return uh, mean the mean as a number 
Okay, let's see this uh, the mean uh, function. Uh, you, you can see you can type uh, question mark mean, and actually it's already open. I'll just open it again. Uh, doesn't mean anything, but yeah. Let's see, uh, there is a f there is a parameter here n a dot r m equal to false. Now this is the default value. That means it will not if you don't write anything here or uh, after after your vector or uh, vector. Uh, it will take it as a false but we, we uh, what it says is remove any values so i want to remove any values so i'm putting uh, na dot rm equal to true so this gave na let's see what this gives now now this is giving up uh, giving us the actual the correct value ignoring the na values uh, similarly Median also won't be able to give you a correct result if you are not using na dot rm equal to true. Let's see. See, it's g it gave us an na. Now, if, if when I'm using na dot rm, that's 205. Now, coming on to the mode. Now, since there is not an inbuilt function and we have coded our coded it ourselves, this will not give you an issue with na. Let's see. I'm just sorting. I'm just sorting the table, and uh, what is um, what is mode? The number which is appearing most, maximum number, like most frequently, or the most most number of times. So this is the table, and these are all the on the, the the top row is the numbers, actual numbers, and the below one is the frequency. So I've sorted it, so I can see that 238 is appearing four times, and 259 is appearing on four times. So basic. So this our function, our line of code should give us the result as 238 and 259 as the mode. So let's see. Basically, this is the solar dot r uh, column. Yeah. So 238 and 259. Now you might be thinking that why is it giving the correct value and uh, why is it not giving any as it was happening earlier? So I will not tell you the answer, but I'll let you think and here is the hint you can use these two line of codes to see why this code is working and it will help you understand the table function as well okay now uh, R has some uh, functions that basically summary statistics functions inbuilt uh, one is in the base R which is called summary and there is one uh, function called describe but for that you need to install uh, the psych package so if we do a summary on the empty cars data set like it will do a summary of the full data set earlier we have uh, we took the weight column but in this case I am just giving empty cars so it will give you a summary of all the columns of the data set empty cars so let's do summary empty cars I'll just increase the size here okay see you can see we did summary empty cards and it give you a uh, statistics of all the columns in the data set empty cards so mpg now you can see it gives the minimum first quantile median mean uh, third quantile and maximum so mean and median are there but mode is also still not here i don't know maybe uh, we like uh, mode is not used that much in the statistical analysis that's why uh, they didn't bother to put mode but they should uh, and uh, let's see air quality data set we know that air quality data set has missing values in it so let's see what summary of air quality data set gives us and you remember we did the analysis on solar dot r column i'll just clear this once more okay i did control l control l clears the console now this is basically the console okay so here is the summary of air quality data set now we know that ozone and solar dot r has any values and 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 it can be verified here that uh, it's giving as na's here and na there are seven na's we did that now if you remember and uh, i've cleared the screen but uh, if you look back uh, we got the median as two uh, mean as 185.9 and median as 2.205 that means uh, the mean and median functions were giving the same result as the summary function now there is uh, this describes function uh, describe function I like the summary one more uh, let's see what describe shows 
so in that in this case you will have to load the library pack on the psychic package in case you have not installed it you'll have to do ins install dot p a c k a g e s in double quotes p s y c h i have already installed it so i will not install it i'll just do library that that means it loads the package so describe empty cards okay now it's it's it it gives you few more uh, summary statistics but you can see mode is also not here that is why i said i prefer summary it's more concise there's some uh, columns like skew kurtosis uh, variance standard deviation okay standard error is also there i see and let's do describe on the air quality data, data set okay now see describe doesn't give you any details about the na values but the summary function did that's why um, i i prefer using the summary data set the summary function so uh whatever i have uh, what the quotes i have showed uh you can check it on this rpub site or on the on my uh, github page uh, both i'll be both the links i'll be giving in the description in the description so thanks a lot guys i hope it helped and this 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 was a very basic um, thing but but it's important in case you don't know it so thanks a lot take care bye